that's the old structure the original one we can see everywhere and after that the people start building on top of that if you can see the street level now well, it's much higher than used to be at that time 2000 years ago this all this it's uh, the original bath so this terrace here was completed in uh, 1897 when the Roman bath was open to the public it says here the modern ground level is four meters above the Romans The first statue, that one, is statue of uh, Julius Caesar. The next one is uh, statue of Claudius. And the third one, that one, is the statue of Vespasian. That one is the statue of Hadrian. And the other one is the statue of uh, Constantine the Great. Those baths has one a roof and was the tallest building in the Roman Britain and the roof was uh, 20 meters above the above the baths. Yeah, the Roman visitor will have been amazed by its high ceiling. You have a picture with the baths empty. Here is the actually hot spring. The hot water spring rates over 1 million liter each day at 46 degrees Celsius. This is the bathhouse. The main stream was over there. For well, there was a temple of uh, temple of Sulis Minerva, they call. <coughs> All this complex here was bigger than a football pitch. This one here is that one here. So practically this is how the bathhouse looked like when, when they have a roof. Those pieces over there was part for, uh, from the front of the Temple of Sulis Minerva. Another pieces of history here. Cornelian. Look at this guy here. So everything you see here is the real thing. This is look like the Pope. This one here was the altar where the animal were sacrificed by, by the priests. This one is the Haruspex stone. After the sacrifice, the temple uh, Haruspex removed organ from the animal body, studying them to predict the future. Head of Sulis Minerva. We have here some wood objects from that time. 
some noodle, rings, brochure. Again, we have a view about the main spring. Here is not a glass, it's a nest. So you can feel the smell of that spring. Here it's a, a late Roman brush to, thought to be from Ireland. Look how well conserved it is. Some real coins from at least one and a half thousand years. The top coins are two thousand years old. The sacred spring overflow. Energy from spa water has been used to heat part of this site since 1993. This is it. Very strong smelling here. In here we have some gemstone which is magnified in here or in here these are so nice and many of those here so those are actually pipes and now We are right next to the water. This one here was a pool, probably a private pool. Hot room caldarium is the first one. In here it's some nice hologram. You can see the people from that time. More people come to change in here after a bath. I can see them very nice with my naked eye. Uh, I don't have a performance camera in here. If there was a roof, this algae would not have grown. This pool is full of coins. This is roof spine fragment. Look to the bricks.
I'm not sure, but I think from here, through here actually, they bring the water from the main spring to this pool. Main spring. Can you see those bubbles? Oh good, they have a toilet on the end of the tour. The toilet is nice and clean. And after that, you arrive in the bath shop. <laughs> 